Today, graphical content such as videos, animations, and presentations are produced at increasingly fast speeds. However, creating such content remains a tedious task because content creators must perform a multitude of editing actions to create even the simplest of graphics. Imagine that you're creating a video with this script. Today I'll talk about three key elements of photography, subject, lighting, and composition. Let's begin with the subject. To accompany this script with graphics, you may want corresponding images to appear one by one, and then zoom in on the image of the subject. To achieve this, you need to find the images online, copy them into the editor, resize and crop them to the same size, align them, create an appear animation for each image, and create a zoom in animation for the subject image. This process is frustrating, but the graphics can enhance engagement and facilitate the comprehension of the content. In particular, you made sure the layout, ordering, and animations correspond to the elements in the script and used a zoom in animation for the topic transition indicated by begin with. The correspondence between the language and the graphics are an example of the congruence principle that for effective visual communication, the content and format of the graphics should correspond to the content and format of the concepts to be conveyed. It also presents an opportunity to leverage the structures in the language to facilitate creation of graphics. CrossPower extracts the linguistic and organizational structures in language and enables users to quickly and flexibly create graphic content. Embedded in these sentences are the rich linguistic structures, including syntactic, semantic, and co-reference structures, which can be extracted with natural language processing. When a user hovers the mouse cursor over the text, suitable language structures are suggested. The user can scroll the mouse wheel to browse the associated structures. The user can then select the syntactic conjunction structure, and CrossPower will automatically provide a graphic template for these elements. Here, the NLP toolkit made an error and extracted photography as an element of the conjunction. The user can simply remove it from the structure and the corresponding graphics will be adjusted accordingly. CrossPower uses the text in the language as queries to search images online. However, the returned images are not ideal as the terms were too general. The user can then add a search tag to constrain all the searches or simply drag and drop the word photography to use it as an additional keyword. The user can also select a different image from the search results. Next, the user can add the transitional effect indicated by begin with. By clicking on the structure, a zoom in effect will be automatically added. However, this effect creates a new image rather than applying the effect to the existing subject image. This is because the NLP toolkit failed to recognize the co-reference between the two subjects. The user can create a co-reference structure to adjust how the effect is applied. The user may instead wish to not only zoom in on the subject image, but also zoom out on the others. Instead of using the co-reference structure, the user can connect the conjunction with the begin with structure, and the zoom out effect is added to the other images. These interactions are possible because there is a language-driven grammar between the linguistics and the graphics which specifies the graphical representation of the semantics. Using the previous structure as an input, the begin with grammar separates the mentioned element from the rest and applies different graphic effects based on the semantics. Instead of using images, the user can switch the graphic representation for the same spatial arrangement. Connecting with the foundation semantic structures creates a morphing effect. The user can quickly select text and script and visualize it on the canvas. A pure animation is automatically added to the text elements on the canvas, which creates the text revealing effect. Here, the user can easily turn the list from the script as a graphic list. Working as a whole, CrossPower leverages the structures in the language, frees the user from tedious manual tasks, and enables them to quickly and flexibly compose graphic effects.